Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. Today I'm going to be checking out the leading singer that Nightwish originally began with. So this will be Tarya along with Nightwish performing The Phantom of the Opera. Now don't get me wrong, I love Floor. She's got great technique, I love her tone quality, and she also seems like a pretty cool person. But a bunch of you have also been recommending Tarya, so I want to understand where the band has come from. And I'm also really excited to hear her sing because I hear she's got some opera chops behind her. So let's get to it. That outfit is so cool. Which calls to me and speaks my name. And do I dream again? Oh no, I find the phantom of the opera is Okay, but off the bat, she seems more operatic than Flora. And of course, I'm going to look at the two of them side by side. How can I not do that at this point? Um, but different does not always mean better. So we'll take it as different and just look at this as two different eras of the band. Uh, Tarya uh, sounds like she has more core and projection, I would guess, in her voice. It's hard to tell because both of them are on a microphone. But I would consider Floor probably has, she sounds like she would do more classical singing and Tarya sounds like she would do more operatic singing. So uh, I really do differentiate those two. Opera means that you're going to be in a much bigger hall. Classical can mean um, like salon style singing where you have songs in a smaller room. I would guess that Tarya's voice, the way that there's a lot more um, core in it, and also the way that her vibrato is functioning, it sounds like it's a heavier voice overall. It would be more likely to project to, project to 4,000 seats if she didn't have a microphone. Ooh, that's a fun arrangement. <laughs> I stray to it My power over you Grows stronger yet But though you turn from me To glass behind The phantom of the opera is there <laughs> With a fun twist on like the band of the opera that I'm used to hearing. Uh, so I think that this is Marco, if I'm right, getting all the band members straight. I'm still getting used to Nightwish, guys. I, I'm a total fan of them now, obviously. But I believe that was Marco singing. And then you have, I think, Tuomas is uh, pictured right now. I think that's Tuomas. Um, and he's the person that would have done this arrangement. And, and Tuomas has a lot of the uh, com uh, compositions. In this case, it's considered an arrangement since Andrew Lloyd Webber did the original version. Um, Marco, the guy who's singing, he has this ability to just add and take away growl anywhere. It also sounds particularly haunting and even um, sometimes a little abrasive in there. Like the, the phantom would be haunting Christine essentially, right? So it sounds like he is getting in her mind and that's that's really fun. Uh, I wanna run it back just a little bit to catch a little bit more of him at the end. Yeah. <laughs> 
I gotta say, I was a little curious what would happen when they sang together. Those two voices in my mind would not go together. If I heard them separately, I wouldn't have been like, ah, they'd sound cool singing together. I would have thought, nah, not very complimentary. But there's something about the buzz on both of them. I wonder if they have like a similar formant structure or something that would create like a similar uh, reinforcement of the harmonics in their voice. Because that seems to go together to me. Uh, also, I, I really like the way that she has this power behind her voice um, um, that is uh, contrasted by the drive behind Marco's voice. They, they have that similar thing that really impacts a person, but it's similar yet different. It's really cool. I want to listen to them a, a little bit more together again, so we're going to go back. listening to Marco's voice in there it sounds like he might have gone to falsetto at one point but put some growl in it and like really given it some extra drive that might just be that might just be his head voice that he's lined up a bunch but I really want to hear it again yeah, your spirit I think he went to falsetto there um, and that that tone quality then matched Tarya's upper range a little bit more. They had a similar vibrato going too, um, but it's really hard to tell. He blended it well. I know the reason I was doing this was to listen to Tarya and she definitely, I'm getting again, lots of operatic background. She sounds like she would do fantastic in a big hall, especially uh, with a sound that's a little more dark, uh, even than floors. Floor seems like she can float notes better though. So question mark. Um, Marco is the one that is shocking me right now. He's able to go so high with some growl too. Like, Usually when people have that extra edge on it, it doesn't sound it doesn't sound like it's a metal scream to me. It sounds like he's got just like a little rasp that's coming in on the edge. Um, usually they're not able to go that high because they've just had a little bit of deterioration in their vocal folds. But not Marco. He's killing it. He's so good. It's it's shocking. It's really fantastic. Let's listen to him a little bit more. <laughs> I love that interaction. So high for him. Now he goes down.
Okay. I I had to let the end run out because, you know, that's that's the big moment in this duet when you hear her go for the top note and then they still had some stuff to play. So, you know, respect. Let it run. Um, But uh, her top note was great. It had, it was really, it, her folds came together very well. It was a clean sound. A lot of power in that sound. I don't know that she needed a microphone. Gotta say, it was powerful. Really powerful. Also, the little runs in there were really clear. Um, so that showed some nice control that was going on, but Marco, oh, he's like, he sounds creepy. He sounds like he's inside her mind. It's great. Uh, it's really, I very much enjoy that. I want to check the key of it because I'm curious what her last note is. Uh, I think in the original it's an E, I think it's a high E, but, uh, this is obviously their version uh, and they would need to pick a key that really works for both of their voices. This is very high for a guy to sing, guys. <laughs> oh, is it a tiny bit of different tuning? She's, she's going to be doing a high D on that. I think it was a high E originally. High D. Uh, they're both still extremely high. And it's interesting. Her voice, when it gets up to high D, it still has all of the fullness from below. A lot of times when singers go up to like a high C after that point, they'll end up having a little less fullness because it's just really high and hard to take up all that weight. She's able to take up all of that weight without any issue whatsoever. Uh, but what is Marco doing here? I, I'm, it sounds like he's got some metal screaming happening, but it's, it's high. G5 there? That's, wow, wow. Like, not many guys can even sing that note in their falsetto. And he's up there uh, even adding some, uh, I think it's an, um, like a, a kind of scream. I think he's using his false vocal folds there to give it the extra texture. Uh, and he's able to give it some extra focus. That is so crazy impressive. I, I'm, uh, yeah, Marco. <sighs> I did not expect to be blown away by Marco when I started this video. Just so you know, I was looking all for Taria, but now I think they're a great pair. Ooh, even a good ending. All right. <laughs> I love that. That dress is amazing. That is the perfect dress for this song and this stage. Okay, so now I need to hear all of the Phantom of the Opera as played by Nightwish. Does that even exist? I feel like maybe Tuomas did do a little bit more of Phantom of the Opera. That would be really cool. There should be an entire new trend called Metal Musicals. Let me know if that exists in the comments below, guys. That'd be super fun to listen to. Also, Thank you so much for this recommendation. It's been really good to see where Nightwish has come from. Uh, yes, Taria does have a really powerful operatic voice. And I can see why fans would love Taria over Floor or love Floor over Taria. They're very different voices, even though they might have similar classical training. Um, and I think that in the end, you just have to say both singers have lent so much quality to the band. It's really awesome to hear. Also, Marco. <laughs> I never thought that I would love 
his voice as the Phantom, but I'm obsessed. So I hope you stay tuned for more Nightwish reactions. I do have another one coming up soon. And if you don't want to miss it, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. And I'll see you soon.